Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'm doing another requested video. This is going to be an in-store grocery shopping video. I'm going to be going to three different stores and showing you what I buy. So like I talked about in my how to source nutrient dense food video, which I will link below, we like to first try to grow as much of our own food as we can. So that will be our garden, lots of produce, especially everything that would be more expensive to buy, lots of squash, pumpkins, beets, everything that we like to ferment, cucumbers, we'll grow lots of things beyond that too, onions, and then our egg chickens, and then we also have our meat chickens. And then after that, we try to source things from local farms. So we get half of a beef from a local farm, we get our raw milk from a local farm, and then after that, I like to go to Azure Standard, which I've talked about a lot before. You order it online and then you pick it up once a month. So for that, I'll do all of my pantry staple type of stuff, the grains, just all of that kind of thing. And then after that, we fill in from a few different stores. So what we end up getting from the stores really doesn't end up being that much, but I'm still gonna show you what I get from these three different stores. So let's head on into the first one. Okay, so here we have to wear masks in stores, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But the first store that I go to on a regular basis is actually Sprouts. So I'm gonna show you the things that I get here. Okay, so this is kind of awkward filming this in the store, but um, one of the things that I like to get, which they don't have today, is the Kelowna Supernatural. So it would be this brand, but the organic heavy whipping cream, usually it's right here, but they don't have any today. Of course, raw is my top choice from the raw milk dairy that we get our milk from, but they, most of the time don't have cream, so this is like the next best option. So I'll usually grab a few of those, but I'm not gonna do that today because they don't have any. The next thing that I'll usually grab is some of this um, raw milk cheddar. So there's the, the blocks and then also the shredded. So Azure Standard is another place that you can get it, but I found out that this store has it too, so I'll usually grab a couple of those while I'm here. I'll oftentimes grab some different produce items too while I'm at the store. We like getting lemons and sometimes limes to add to sparkling water just for a nice drink, so I'll grab a few of those too. Another thing we like to pick up are avocados. A couple other produce items that I usually grab are some carrots and then usually a head of lettuce too. And the last thing that I get when I come to this store is some sparkling mineral water. We like to have this, like I said, with some lemon or lime juice squeezed into it for a nice treat beverage. So um, this is a a good brand that we'll usually get. So that's everything for sprouts. We have our sparkling water, lemons, lettuce, avocados, some of the raw cheddar, and some carrots. Okay, so this is uh, like a discount grocery store where they have like stuff that's reduced price or whatever. And like I said, we do grow our own eggs, but our chickens don't have enough for us. So this is a really good place to get some higher quality eggs for a really good price. Like these Happy Egg Co. in the grocery store, they would be like between five and seven dollars a dozen. Two twenty-nine for these organic pasture-raised eggs. So I usually get those to fill in where we need to um, when our chickens aren't laying quite enough for us. 
And then usually only the other thing, I usually just get these two things, just eggs and bacon at this store. So the other thing is bacon. So this is a really good place to get um, some bacon that is sugar free. So it's made without added sugar for a really good price. It's like half of what you would pay in a regular health food store. So I usually grab some of those for the week. I'm not seeing the kind we usually get. I might have to settle for this turkey kind, which is not my top choice, but does not have sugar or anything else we're trying to avoid in it. So I'll, I'll probably go with that this time, but usually I get pork. So yeah, these two items are usually all I get at this store. Sometimes I'll look around and see if they have anything else interesting, but usually it's eggs and bacon at this discount grocery store. Okay, so now we are at Costco. This is the last store that I usually go to, and I, I, there are a few different things that I usually grab from here, so I'm going to show you what I get. Well, the first things that I grab when I come to Costco is to head on over to the produce section, and they have one of the best deals on big bags of organic carrots. So I usually get at least two of those. Next, I like to head over to where they have the laundry detergent and grab a big thing of my favorite Boulder Clean laundry detergent. They have the best deal here on this big giant container. The next place that I go is to where there's the frozen vegetables and fruits and we're not doing a ton of fruit right now but I'll usually get one or two things from the vegetables like this riced cauliflower is good for making things with and then maybe some green beans although they don't have green beans today so I won't be getting those. I did go ahead and grab a bag of blueberries because we like to do those with my daughter's lunch. This is my favorite place to get honey. It has this local raw unfiltered Colorado honey. So I'll usually grab one of those while we're here too. Costco also has one of the best deals on coconut oil. So not every time, but whenever I need one, I will grab one of these. Okay, I'm so excited because I just found out that they carry this ketchup. I mean, you can make it easily yourself, but the ingredients are like you would make it yourself. And it's so, it's such a good deal. It's in a glass bottle, organic, no sugar, just tomatoes and spices. So I'm really excited to see that because that's a time-saving thing. Another thing, speaking of time-saving, is this mayonnaise. It's just like, again, just like you would make it yourself. Um, really, really good ingredients and you know just a time-saving thing so I'll oftentimes grab one of those if I'm not making it myself. Another thing that we'll get sometimes is canned salmon because that's an easy way to get a really good seafood item for like easy lunches and stuff. Good job! Costco is also the best place that I found for the best deal on Epsom salts. So if you're doing a lot of detox baths, then it's important to be able to get a good deal on that. So I like to grab some of that when I'm here as well. That is pretty much our Costco trip. We also have a book in there that we need to get as a gift for somebody, but um, yeah, so there we have it. Okay, I hope that you guys like coming along on my grocery shopping trip and hopefully it was interesting and hopefully helpful to see what I get at all the stores that I go to. I thought that this was a great video topic and if you have other ideas for videos that you'd like me to do, be sure and leave me a comment down in the comments. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Say thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.